All right, so here we are. We are in Cape Town, South Africa. I'm gonna be living here for the next four weeks. So I'm pretty excited. This is a new continent, a new country, a new city to check out. Uh, I've been around a little bit at the beaches. It looks really, really sweet. Lots of rocks everywhere, so I'm super excited. Um, I only have a few projects that I actually have to work on here. So it's gonna be pretty fun. I have a lot of available free time to get some fun shots. That's what I like to do. Drone shots, nature. I even got this nice little film camera. So I'm gonna be trying it out. I got a whole roll of film to um, just explore, get some fun shots, gonna see how they come out. I'm really excited. The sunset is in about two and a half hours, so that's when I'm gonna try and get some really nice shots um, for this week. I'm gonna get some drone shots as well as some shots with the camera. See what I can do to get some landscape nature stuff. Um, right outside my door, I'm in Camps Bay, about one block from the beach. So it's super beautiful, lots of big rocks, big boulders. Um, there's actually a natural pool area too that comes in from the ocean. They have really cool architecture, really t cool um, landscapes as well, so I'm kind of excited. Um, I'm going to be here for the next four weeks, so it's going to be a fun little adventure to get figured out. Um, I already had to go get a outlet converter, just figure out different things. I had to get exchanged money for the currency. Um, a lot of people speak English here, so it's pretty easy, but it is a African country, so um, it's going to be really exciting to try it out. So. Here we go, here's nothing. All right, I'm heading out. I'm switching to the GoPro now because I'm not sure how safe it is to be walking with the big camera setup. But we're gonna go see. Here we go. is not too good um, a bunch of clouds came in right now but I'm still trying to get a few shots I'm climbing up this little spot right here um, seeing if I can chase the light and get something nice the waves are massive today so let's see what we can do started kicking in and the wind we got a few shots in uh, but I definitely will go back to that spot later another day when it has a good sunset because it was just a nice spot with the rocks and you can see the trees and the mountains in the back so definitely a spot I'm gonna add to my list I'm gonna head home now grab my cash and then go to the grocery store uh, and get some dinner Yep. All right, so there you go. Um, as you saw, the sunset was not that good the other day. A bit cloudy. Um, so just not much to work with. Usually the sunlight helps also with the water clarity and just opens things up, gets shadows. When it's really overcast, um, during sunset especially, it just kind of looks muggy. So that's kind of how it was. A little bit windy as well, so not much drone opportunities. Um, in the morning though, when I got out, it was really sunny, probably partly cloudy. 50-50, um, but the sun was shining, so that allowed the water clarity to be pretty good um, and just offered some good opportunities. That's where most of the shots today in the video were taken in the morning. So I did get some drone shots from that morning, and that's what I'm going to be working with for that um, today's session, I guess you could say. Um, what I did is I went to the tidal pool that's um, nearby where I'm staying. It's a really cool man-made structure, but the water is from the ocean. The, uh, ocean waves crash over the ledge and fill the pool up. So it's a pretty cool opportunity, pretty cool spot. It just looks really unique in the area because you see giant big rocks and boulders and then just a, a square pool um, right in the middle with ocean waves crashing. So I got a few different drone shots. I did of course some um, over top shots, a few different angles of that. My favorite one that I posted first on the feed was actually like a detail, a little abstract a little bit. You see a little bit of waves, you see rocks, and on the right, you see the pool, at least a corner of the pool. So it's a little different. Um, I could have easily posted just the whole entire pool, but I feel like the first one kind of brought a little bit of a different look 
that might catch people's eye. And I just like that one for the first one. And then as you went um, on in the feed, my idea was to replicate a classic magazine, maybe 70s, 80s um, style magazine with bold, simple fonts and just simple um, colors and showing the vintage look of the photos I took. Um, so I made that little series here. I believe it's how many slides? Six or seven? Six slides. Um, I like to make the series where it shows the different aspects of the pho photo or p potentially the spot, um, different things. I like to show something different, uh, especially on Instagram, everything can be pretty much the same. So whenever you can switch it up like that, that's what I like to do. One of the cool things I liked about this series was right here, I believe is the fourth page, the aerials, um, where I split the text from half white, half black. Um, and then when the text was on the photo, it's white. And then when the text is on just the white plain background, I made it black. I feel like there's a pop and look a little different. Um, and of course I looked up some facts about the ocean and that little spot just to make it look more authentic like a magazine. Um, whenever you're trying to replicate something, you want it to be believable. You don't want people to think, what am I looking at? They can just look at it, know what's going on already. Um, so it's pretty fun, little series. Hoping to get some more opportunities for some nice shots later on um, during my stay here. But the weather, you can't control it, so you just gotta work with what you got. If you wanna check out this series, it's published already on my Instagram, um, wally.iv. That's where you can see the whole series in detail, get some ideas from it if you want. What I also did is I published all these images on my website if you wanna use them as wallpapers. So you got some nice ones both for your phone or for your laptop. I put widescreen and vertical. Um, so feel free to use both, check them out. I'll link that below as well. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. That's all for today.